police is gonna come here? Yes, sir. Are you still at the Walmart? I went to a YouTube creator event, my first ever YouTube creator event. They gave me this cool YouTube creative like creator bag, and now my camera guy loses it. And now yeah, I'm dealing with the yeah. and now I'm dealing with the feds. We were just in the laundry aisle and um, we put the bag in the aisle and this lady with her little daughter just took it. And the secu security saw it on camera. Um, obviously, if this person is located, do you want to prosecute? Today is... The mannequin prank. What is this? No! Oh, <laughs> Hey, bro, don't I know you? I seen you in another store, right? You got me, you got me. <laughs> I can't be a mannequin? No. There's not an application to be one of these cool guys? <laughs> Unfortunately not, I'm gonna ask you just to leave the store, please. Really? Yeah, I'm sorry. I wanted to be a mannequin. I'm sorry. That's my dream job as a kid. Not in this store, maybe you can try in another one. <laughs> maybe Walmart. Yeah, maybe Walmart. They're cooler than you guys. You to be, please. One day I woke up, I was like, F college. Okay. I'm going to mannequin school. So I went to Mannequin University <laughs> and then I graduated with a mannequin diploma. Okay. It's a bachelor. BA I, didn't, I didn't do my masters. Another day, another mannequin. Oh, sh fuck. Who put that there? Yo, who the hell put this there? What is this, a mannequin? Happy Halloween! Oh. High five. <laughs> oh. Hey, dude! I don't know you. Oh wait, were you trying to give me a high five? Yeah. Oh, hello. Hello. You have a lovely day at the store. No! <laughs> oh my God, bro, my hair actually got caught in this shit. You gotta just pull that shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Let me go get the bag, right? It was right here, but we were right here. so. Bro, please don't tell me you just lost my YouTube bag. I put it right in the shelf, right there where I was. I mean, they took Are you it. sure it was about the laundry? Yeah, it was right when we recorded it. I remember that was the aisle we picked. It had nothing else in there though, right? No, we just, it was empty. Well, let's go figure that out actually. Russo lost my YouTube bag, so now we're gonna go on a hunt in Walmart to go find it. I need to go ask. I have to go find the worker. I want that bag, dude. That was my favorite bag. It could have been a customer. It could have been. But I'm gonna go catch them on the security footage. Wait, there was that there was that mom with that girl. Maybe she she was in the aisle with us. Damn, where is she? Hi, how's it going? Excuse me. Um, so we were in an aisle and we left a bag somewhere and someone stole it. But you need to go customer service. Customer service? Yeah. Okay. They'll check the security cameras. Yeah, they will check. Where's customer service here? Hello, how's it going? Someone stole my YouTube bag in the aisle that we were at and like now we don't know where it is. You stole what? Uh, you, my YouTube bag. I'm really, really scared and I'm really worried and I have no idea what to think right now because I really just have no idea where the YouTube bag could be and I'm really, really worried. Just give them a minute. All right, perfect. They, they can like check the security cameras and all that? Most likely. Really? Can I see who the culprit is? That I don't know. You have to speak to them. I want to find them. I feel like Spider-Man today. I'm trying to find the culprit that I stole my bag. I'm more than happy to help you, but we cannot do this while we're filming. If we, if we turn it off, am I guaranteed that like I'll have like security footage shown to find the culprit? Uh, I won't be able to show it to Well, I'll be more than happy to help you as soon as you're finished. Okay, all right, we'll turn it off, turn it off. The guy said he'll help, so I'm following orders. This lady here said she was gonna call the cops. I don't know why she couldn't just come to talk to me like he did, right? Like that's how you deal with somebody. I just need to catch this culprit. I'm the white Miles Morales. What? You have YouTube? Yeah. What's your YouTube? I got you. I'll show you. Where, where are you, Russian? Yeah. Yeah. We're both Russian. There you go. I didn't see me on it. Oh, yo, Ron. Non-emergency yeah. PD. Yeah, so they'll get someone in the next available unit out here. Uh, but it's just not an emergency, you know, not life-threatening. And you saw this lady, can you describe, like, what did she look like? Russian. She was Russian? Yeah. And she had her little daughter and she just took the yeah, bag. She had a kid in the car. Yeah, she snapped it up. You guys were over there, and she, after you guys had left, she came by. Were we doing later. the mannequin challenge at that point yeah. when she took it? Yeah. No, 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 after. It was after you guys finished. Really? Yeah. What a biatch. I know. That's so fucked. They ended up taking my bag. They stole it. 
Hi, so I'm here at the Walmart today and um, I, was, I was doing the mannequin challenge and someone stole my uh, bag. So we left it at the laundry detergent and then some lady with her young daughter who taught her to steal is okay, stole it. You know, I would take matters into my own hands, you know, but they're not letting me. So they, th she left and she had a little girl. Isn't that so immoral to teach her daughter how to steal? Do you know who she is? No, no idea. We were just in Walmart and then I came to security and he went to go check the footage and saw that it was a Russian lady with a young daughter who stole my bag and taught, taught this young daughter that stealing is okay. Hey officer, how's it going? Doing well, doing well. We'll be here at the Walmart. Where are you exactly? We're, we're inside already. We're right at the, begin at the entrance of it. Okay, no problem. Yeah. We'll meet you over there. All right, thank you so what much. You, what are you wearing right now? Um, right now, I'm wearing a jacket with a white mannequin-like costume. Okay, all right. We'll see you in a bit. All right, thanks. Officer. Hey, guys. How's it going? Um, so basically, we were just in the laundry aisle, and um, we put the bag in the aisle, and this lady with her little daughter just took it. And the secu security saw it on camera. How's it going, officers? Yeah, How's it going? Well, well. Like Don't the outfit, like the outfit. Thank you, I appreciate it, thanks. So can you tell me a little bit about what happened? Yeah, so we were... Well, how about this? Better yet, let's go, let's go step somewhere else that way. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Can I open yeah. this? Well, you're tall, so maybe ducking under it. True. Easy. Yeah, duck, yeah. I could have like hurdle, hurd, hurdled it, you yeah. know? What's that Olympic sport? <laughs> Hurdles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would have taken matters into my own hands, but... No, nope, you did the right thing by calling us. Okay. Trust me, it's always better to avoid issues. So yeah. after doing the mannequin challenge, we walked a little bit and we're like, oh, the you bag. Your bag there. We left the bag, then we went to go back. And she saw us, she knew we were there because she was in the same aisle, like, as us. She white, black, Hispanic. She was Russian, white. She seemed like dirty blonde. Do you know what she was wearing? Uh, black clothes. Oh, okay. And she had a child with her? Yeah, she had a little girl. Isn't that horrible? Teaching the little girl to, to, to steal? Jeez. Was it a bag, book bag? It was uh, like a tote. A tote? It was like a beige tote. And it was my first ever YouTube creator's bag. Oh, you got a YouTube channel? Yes. I, I have to document, that's why I have to document. What's your YouTube oh, channel? Oh, you want to check it? Yeah, just, you just want to check it out? Yeah. It's uh, Patek TV. Gonna take a look at it. Yeah, take a look, man. What right. did you have inside of it? Um, I had nothing inside. It was completely empty. Yeah, empty. It's just a, it's a prized possession of mine, you know? It's worth a million dollars. I bet. It's One. a million dollar tote bag. Let's just call it two million. Two million. I two like million that. Two million seems fair. Genuinely, like, in terms of price. How much is the, yeah. is the bag? Dude, probably, I mean, like, I would say maybe a hundred bucks. <laughs> and you said security had a video of it, right? Yeah, they... Which security guard did you... Um, I talked to... What's his name? Ron? Nick. Oh, Nick, yeah. Ron was the code word. Can you give me a favor? When, uh, when you're recording, just edit me to be a little bit taller or him a little bit shorter. <laughs> I don't look bad. I like this guy. You don't want to quit being a police officer and come work for YouTube? No, I love what I do, man. Oh, you do? I was trying to protect and serve also, but I'm not a cop, so I couldn't... They say I'm the white Miles Morales. This is my bodyguard today. You guys were doing it right here? Yeah, right. Oh, oh no, the other side, right, Russo? Oh, no, it was here. No, it was here, it was here, it was here. Where did you put the bag? He put it right there. He put it like right here. Right there? Yeah. Right J21. Right. Obviously, if this person is located, do you want to prosecute? So what is that process like? Theoretically, we do find them, or we find your tote bag, and they're in possession of it. But what we'll is, click, click. We take them to jail. After all that, you're probably gonna be subpoenaed, show up in court. They're gonna ask for your side of the story, what happened. You're gonna basically just explain to them everything that happened. And it's just showing up to court, because you'd be the victim. She's Russian, man. What if she's in the mafia or some shit and she comes after me? <laughs> yeah, no, that's good thinking. I'm dead ass. <laughs> Possibly Ru in ma mafia. mafia. Yeah. I'm gonna get you guys a case card and then I'm gonna review the footage. Okay, if I wanna follow up with it. So you can pick up the case the report at the station obviously if we do find it i got your contact information and everything we'll let you know we'll return it and 
whatever you determine in that very moment. If you do end up finding it, does it have to go through a whole process of trial or is it just as simple as her just being able to return it to me? I'm assuming you don't want to go through the whole trial thing. Yeah, so because if she could just you. get, I just want my bag back, so, you know, like. As of right now, what I'm assuming, you don't want to prosecute, but if it is located, just give it back to me. We're just returning just it give to it you. back to me. I don't want to mess with her and her poor little daughter. No problem. I just want my bag back. <laughs> I love that bag. How long have you been doing YouTube? Uh, about three years. How many subscribers? Um, I'm at 1.73 million. Is going to go on there? It is. Looking forward to seeing you. All right, cool, man. Where are you is trying to go? Is there a specific store? No, it's, it's a, a pain management place. So it'd be directly across the street. Directly across, across the street. Yeah, just go straight ahead and you'll be right there. Right. Straight okay. ahead. You'll be right there. Thank you much. Thank no you. No problem. You. I'm helping today. I'm a cop today. Oh, you're a cop today? Yeah. <laughs> right along. Where, where's right your right uniform? uniform? Oh, wait. Isn't that impersonating an officer where, where, if I say that? Okay. I'm okay. Today. All right, I'm okay. Okay, he gave me the cop pass. <laughs> you your uniform. This is my. I'm undercover. And, and your gun. I'm undercover today. You're undercover yeah. today. So this right here is gonna be a case number. Forgive my sloppy handwriting. Nah, you're good, dude. So like I said, I'm just gonna go speak to them. If you want, you can take off. I got your number. If we locate the tote bag, you call also, me. Yeah, we'll call you. Directly. When you when you call me, can you be like seven days? I can do that, but just for you, bro. Are you from South Carolina? Cuba. Oh, Cuban? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. You're on a nice little raft. On a nice little raft. What, what's your type? My wife. Oh, your wife. Yeah. What, what, where is she from? Dominican. Hey, my girlfriend's Dominican, dog. Let's go. Que lo que? 4K, 4K, 4K. All right, gentlemen. <laughs> it's been lovely meeting you. All right, thanks, dude. I, I appreciate better see you. The video soon. Yeah, man. It's going to be all over. I'm going to go thanks, speak man. to them, okay? All right, thank you. Yo, dude. You didn't, you didn't pay for that. Oh shit, you're right. You got them for that. Yeah, I can't, I can't, like, that's, that's hypocritical, you know what I'm saying? I can't believe, yeah. I forgot to pay for this. <laughs> uh, come here, come here. No, yeah, yeah. Wait, can you do it? No, I can't. Oh, fuck. YouTube, look how far I went into hell for you. I contacted law enforcement for you, YouTube. I love you. Give me views. Give me subs. Give me a like and a comment on this video, please. What's up with the camera? <laughs> I'm just wanting to know if there's uh, if you were working inside there. No, I don't work inside here. No. Okay. All right. Just want to know. No, no, no worries. I'm about to go in there myself for my own case. Right. I got you. Is it clo you. is it closed? It is. Oh, really? Oh, thank you, sir. All right, guys. We're here at the police department. It's been about like a week since we filmed the mannequin prank and uh, the lady stole my bag. I haven't heard anything from the officers, so we're here at the police station to follow up on the case report. Let's go see if we see the homie D. Shalaton, Officer Shalaton here. Let's see what the fuck happened with my case. I want my YouTube bag. Hello, miss. How's it going? Good. How can I uh, help you? Is Officer Dean Shalaton in here? At the police station. Oh, over there? Yes. Where, where is it that you follow up with case? Over there. What is this? It's a city hall. Okay, okay. Thank you. Hello. Good afternoon. How may I help you? Hi, how's it going? Um, is Officer Dean Shalaton in? I don't believe he's on duty at this time. I'd have to check. How can okay. I help you? Um, I just want to follow up on my case. Okay, if you give me the case number, I can check on. Thank you. I do also believe he said that there's like a rapport or something that I pick exactly. up. Exactly, that's what I'm going to check. Okay, alright, thanks. <laughs> drive baked, get busted. <laughs> at first I, th I read drive naked, get busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. Hello, sir. Uh, the report is ready. It's 60 cents, so I'm going to give you the receipt for 60 cents. So you have to go to City Hall, which is across here. Just make payment and you can pick up your report. So I pay 60 cents for the report? Correct. Okay. Who can I talk to about like getting a ride along or something? You can leave your name and number. We have one of the sergeants reach out to you. If it could be with Dean Shalatin, that would be great. Okay, sir. I'll give him the message. All right, thank you. I want to go on the ride along. All right, City Hall now. Now we get past the boss, the final boss. It's 60 cents. I pay my taxes, bro. At least I have to only pay 60 cents. I didn't know I was going to have to pay anything, but I'm glad it's only 60 cents. Imagine they're like 50 bucks. That's so petty. Bro, 60 cents? That's so petty, man. That's, I'm paying for the paper that they print. That's ridiculous. They Maybe could, that's what it is. It is. Because they have a cost to have to give me the report. But that should be included in my taxes. <laughs> Who is this? My name is Dean Shalaton. Okay. 
is Danielle. I was the not organization called uh, Engage Florida. Who is this? For... My name is Danielle. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so Amendment 4 is on the ballot to ensure that Floridians I can... have reproductive freedom. Hello? What? Yes. Who is this? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I hate telemarketers. How are you? I'm good, and you? Good. Do you guys do Cash App? No, we do Visa, MasterCard, oh. Cash. Alright, I'll do a Visa. No cryptocurrency. Not yet. Isn't charging me 60 cents a little petty? That's crazy. That's just the, that's just the pages you guys print, right? Oh, another, so bureaucratic. Bureaucratic. They were. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate it. Day. Dude, the bureau, the, the bureaucratic, the bureaucratic. What is it? What's the word for it? Gotta go there to pay. Gotta come back. I paid the sixty cents. Ooh. Thank you very much. I did speak with my captain, but unfortunately, he says provide alongs. We basically only do applicants at this time. Police applicants. I think during COVID, they kind of stopped everything. Oh, that's so ridiculous. Does it say here that, like, she was found or something? If it was found and we contact you about your belongings, we would take the belongings into evidence and property, and then we give you a call to come pick it up. Is there a payment to come pick it up? Absolutely not. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> I have to file a police report against you. You're a thief. You managed to steal my heart. Here? Oh. No. No English? No English. Uh, yo, tu, um, oh, fuck, I don't even know how to say this in, whatever, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Florida, Miami, you only find Hispanic people here. She had me say the whole thing, she's like, que? Still no bag, bruh. This is sad. I'll basically read it to you guys. It says, where I was, grocery, supermarket, theft, gang related, no. I think it was though. Upon arrival, I made contact with the victim who advised while filming himself performing the mannequin challenge. He set aside his empty beige tote bag valued at approximately $100 on a shelf located with an aisle J21. Jacob accidentally exited the aisle without retrieving his tote bag. Upon returning to the aisle to recover his property, Jacob came to the realization it was no longer where he had placed it. Video surveillance cameras depicted an adult white woman wearing a white top and burgundy shorts enter the aisle and immediately grab the tote bag before placing it in her shopping cart and leaving the area. Jacob advised he does not wish to pursue charges and simply wishes to have his tote bag returned to him. No further to report of his time. What I had told the officer and obviously you guys was that she was wearing all black. She was supposedly wearing a white shirt and burgundy shorts. I thought she was wearing all black. I remember her being in all black, dude. Shit, my info was wrong. All right, well, I guess that was me following up with it. I guess I'll just have to update you guys if they end up calling me. But as of now, my bag is stolen and that Russian mom is still a biatch.